it strikes me there are many, many problems with this proposal, though I have heard it from a couple of senior people within the energy industry and indeed at least one senior diplomat here in the UK. Because as Charles and Ben and, and Natasha have explained, that there, there's a kind of supply problem here. You know, we are facing a situation in the Western world, in the UK, where we could have power outages uh, this autumn and winter. The government's acknowledged that. But even if the, if the problem isn't, well, a problem is that the gas is very, very expensive, a problem for lots of GB News viewers and lots of GB News business owners and no price cap for business owners. But the bigger problem is just there isn't enough gas. Yeah. I mean, I think Charles summed up a lot of the points that, 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 that I think are the relevant ones to all of this discussion, is the fact that even a price cap of Nor Norway uh, agreeing to longer-term contracts at lower prices doesn't, imp doesn't help the supply side of the equation. I think also it may store up, quite often interfering with market forces can store up problems further down the line. You could find that if the gas price, for whatever reason, did come back in years to come and some countries were stuck with contracts at higher prices than the market uh, than the current market prices that caused could cause its own problems mm. so i think it's it's a difficult I, the important thing i think is everybody's looking at different solutions what mm. as a solution and not ruling anything out and happy to discuss ideas but i think this idea of trying to uh, contracts at lower prices could cause as many problems as it solves and certainly wouldn't supply to wouldn't help the supply side of the equation and indeed i know from my own time in the asset management industry that norwegian sovereign wealth fund one of the world's yeah. biggest investors you know the, the norwegian population is very jealously guards what's in that sovereign wealth fund yeah. right yeah um uh, and also that sovereign wealth fund I've seen reports it's lost a lot of money in recent months from tech investments and so on. So this is clearly a very problematic proposal, but we will continue to discuss it.